got this John Deere excavator stuck down here. My buddy over there, John's towing, asked me to come down and help him look at it. This, this track's basically all the way under the mud. It will start, he says. It just doesn't run very good. And I think the owner just showed up with a big loader. Good morning, everybody. You see, we got the gin pole on there, the winch on there. We just went and picked up the battery, the wire connectors, and the new winch cable. So, let's hook up the winch cable. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna be putting a new winch cable on the back of the Bronco. We wanted the Badlands winch cable because it's right down the road at Harbor Freight. And I'm not paying $579 for a worn cable to test the gin pole on the back of the Bronco. So we're gonna go with this, make sure everything works before we go spend the big money. But uh, we will be adding the Factor 55 Ultra hook. The problem is on this cable, they put a metal thimble on it. The metal thimble will not fit into the ultra hook. So we're going to cut that off and we're going to show you guys how to splice a cable. So what you're going to need for this is a is a FID. I prefer the Factor 55 FID. Screw the two pieces together. Okay, so this is going to allow you to stab through the cable without damaging it and this Chinese finger trap on the back will hold the cable and pull it through. What else you're going to need is a sharp knife. I like using fillet knives. And with a new cable, you really don't have to do much of the cable, but with an old cable, um, this is also like a Chinese finger trap. So this will get bound together and be real stiff. Just go through and push it all apart. Push it all, well, I guess push it together. And it will push all the, the threads apart, all the strands. And that's gonna make your life a lot easier when you get ready to splice this cable. So work your cable, make sure everything is nice and loose before you get started. When, you, when you're cutting this cable, make sure you don't cut into the table because then your wife will kick your butt. So then you end up with the cable. It looks like this, okay? So two things. We want to make this tapered so it's not fat and then just a sharp edge. It just creates a wing point when you put it inside the cable. So basically you wanna take two threads out, cut it, take another two threads out, cut it, another two threads and taper it all the way down. Shove all of that into your feed. Like that. Now that's going to hold that cable in place. So first thing you want to do is I probably go a little bit longer than I need to. Is we want to make a loop like that. Make sure you have plenty left over. And then we're going to go back through and make a second loop. And then we're going to shove all of this inside that cable. And that's why I said you wanted to fatten all this up. go straight through the center of the cable and 
make yourself a loop. Now I just go down, not really close. I just go down a little bit and run it back through. Okay, it's gonna look like that. And now you're gonna take this and run that whole cable inside this one all the way down. And that's where loosening up the cable comes in handy because you got to get this all the way through the center of this cable. And then come out, pull your cable all the way through. Make sure it's, hold this, make sure it's tight. And then all this is gonna be fat and you're gonna have a tail sticking out. Take this off. Start up here, holding the noose. And pull this down. Business call, so gotta take that. All right, had to take that call. Um, somebody's got a thirty thousand pound excavator in, a, in the woods and needs help getting it out. So. Um, but then you tighten it down from the noose, pull this, and then if you make a mistake and you didn't go quite far enough, that's fine. Let's, let's show you how to do that. So take your, your tag line here and pull it back through, okay? It's going to pull the noose and everything and scrunch that cable back up, okay? Put your fit back on. Out of the last 20 splices I've done, this is the first time I didn't go far enough. And it's a good thing, so I can show you guys how to do it. Okay, so now you got it coming out right here. You just need to get that back in the center where it came out. Work it through the center there. My phone's gonna beep about 20 times. They're sending me pictures. Okay, so I estimate about that far. Run that back through there. And now it comes out farther down. You do the same thing. Take this off. Grab your noose up here. And then pull it down, and it should suck your tag line all the way inside there. Just like that. So now it's one piece from end to end. It's good to go.